Welcome to our show, The China Briefing. Today, we have some intriguing stories lined up for you. First up, US Republicans have launched a formal investigation into Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Walls, focusing on his long-standing connections with China. This move is seen as a strategic attempt to exploit perceived weaknesses in the upcoming 2024 presidential race. Walls's history with China dates back to the late 1980s when he spent time teaching in the country and has since made numerous visits. Stay tuned for more on this developing story. Next, we delve into the complexities of China's anti-corruption campaign. While the initiative aims to clean up governance, it has inadvertently made officials more risk-averse and less innovative. Experts argue that the current system of centralization and micromanagement stifles creativity and initiative, leading to a culture of passivity and conformity. To truly foster a new generation of bold and innovative leaders, significant changes in cadre management are essential. We'll explore these challenges and potential solutions in greater detail. Lastly, we examine the evolving rivalry between the US and China. Harvard professor Graham Allison suggests that China's strategic restraint in economic and military domains could inspire a more peaceful competition, akin to a sporting event rather than a war. As China's rise continues to parallel its achievements in various fields, the hope is that both nations can maintain a peaceful rivalry. Please stay tuned for more in-depth coverage on these stories and more. Thank you for joining us on the China Briefing, and please continue to stay tuned for detailed content. South China Morning Post US Republicans have launched a formal investigation into Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Walls, scrutinizing his historical connections with China. James Kummer, chair of the US House Oversight Committee, cited Walls's alleged affiliations with Chinese Communist Party entities and officials, including his time teaching in China and his fellowship at Macau Polytechnic University. Kummer's letter to FBI Director Christopher Wray seeks information on any warnings given to Walls regarding CCP influence operations. This probe aligns with Republican efforts to paint political rivals as communists, a strategy championed by Donald Trump. Walls, who has made multiple trips to China since 1989, has also been involved in legislative actions such as co-sponsoring the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act. This investigation comes amid broader Republican strategies to question Democratic candidates' foreign ties, reflecting a contentious political landscape ahead of the 2024 presidential race. South China Morning Post. Chinese President Xi Jinping's anti-corruption campaign, now in its second decade, has instilled a culture of risk aversion among officials, who fear making mistakes under tight scrutiny. Despite the campaign's success in promoting loyalty and discipline, it has led to a lack of initiative and innovation within the bureaucracy. The centralization of power and micromanagement by Xi have further stifled creativity, with officials preferring to wait for explicit instructions rather than take risks. Experts argue that this environment undermines the leadership's goals of effective governance. Measures to differentiate between minor errors and intentional wrongdoing have been introduced, aiming to inspire officials to act with a pioneering spirit. However, financial constraints and vague incentives continue to hinder bold initiatives. Interviews with civil servants reveal a persistent fear of punishment, suggesting that the current system still discourages innovation despite recent attempts to lighten punitive measures. South China Morning Post the recent tie between the United States and China in the Paris Summer Olympics, with each winning 40 gold medals, symbolizes the broader geopolitical rivalry between the two nations. Harvard professor Graham Allison notes that China's rise in the Olympics mirrors its ascent as a global power. However, while the Olympic competition remained relatively peaceful, geopolitical contests carry far higher stakes, involving significant human and material losses. China's strategic forbearance, rooted in historical lessons from figures like Sun Tzu, emphasizes the grave consequences of war. Beijing has shown restraint in its responses to US provocations, such as Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan and disputes in the South China Sea. This cautious approach aims to avoid direct confrontation while maintaining a firm stance on critical issues. The hope is that this measured strategy can lead to a more peaceful rivalry with the US, akin to the competitive yet non-violent nature of the Olympics. South China Morning Post 
Kaylee Kuoko, star of The Big Bang Theory, has found love again, recently getting engaged to Ozark actor Tom Pelfrey. Despite her previous marriages ending in divorce, Kuoko is all smiles as she flaunts her new engagement ring designed by Sharla Karimi. Pelfrey, who hails from New Jersey and has a BFA in acting from Mason Gross School of the Arts at Rutgers University, is a father to their one-year-old daughter, Matilda Carmine Ritchie Pelfrey. He gained recognition through roles in Guiding Light, Ozark, Banshee, and Mank. Passionate about nurturing young talent, Pelfrey co-founded the Apothecary Theatre Company in 2008, providing a platform for aspiring actors to produce and direct their own work. The couple met through their shared manager, Andrea Pet-Joseph, at the Ozark season premiere in April 2022, and it was love at first sight. Pelfrey, a Leo with Libra rising and Scorpio moon, shares two of his astrological signs with his daughter, adding a personal touch to his connection with Kuoko. South China Morning Post. Jack Black, known for his comedic roles in films like School of Rock and Jumanji, recently made headlines by cancelling Tenacious DS tour following controversial comments by his bandmate, Kyle Gass. However, Black's personal life is filled with a heartwarming love story with his wife, Tanya Hayden. The couple, who reconnected 20 years after attending the same private school, eloped and now have two sons. Hayden, a talented musician and artist, comes from a family of musicians, including her father, jazz bassist Charlie Hayden. She performs with her sisters as the Hayden Triplets and has collaborated with Black on various projects. Hayden also holds a Master's in Fine Arts in Animation and has showcased her work in numerous exhibitions. Additionally, she has lent her voice to characters in films like Kung Fu Panda and The Muppets. A memorable moment in their relationship was when Angelina Jolie gifted Hayden an olive green maternity dress by Max Azria, which Jolie wore during her pregnancy, after Black announced Jolie's pregnancy at the 2008 Confestival. Australian Broadcasting Corporation Holly Dinney is a determined young athlete balancing two jobs, full-time studies in biomedical engineering, and her ambition to play lacrosse for Australia at the 2028 Olympics in Los Angeles. Despite the financial burden, as La Crosse Australia lacks sufficient funding, Dinny's dedication has earned her a spot in the Australian under-20 team for the World Championships in Hong Kong. The sport's inclusion in the Olympics for the first time since 1908 has raised hopes for increased exposure and government funding. The Australian Sports Commission currently provides only $50,000 for La Crosse, a stark contrast to the millions allocated to more popular sports like basketball and hockey. The Australian lacrosse teams, despite limited funding, have a history of success in world championships. Wendy Walsh, assistant coach for the under-20 women's team, emphasises the importance of hard work and dedication. Kelsey Lawson, another promising player, is motivated by the Olympic dream and has secured a scholarship to the University of Rhode Island. With the LA Olympics on the horizon, the Australian team is determined to showcase their unique style and potentially bring home a gold medal. The Globe and Mail, Starbucks has seen a significant revival in its stock price following the announcement of a new CEO, Brian Nickel, who was previously with Chipotle Mexican Grill Incorporated. This news led to a 24.5% surge in Starbucks share price, adding $21 billion to the company's market value in a single day. Investors are optimistic about Nickel's potential to turn around the company's fortunes, given his track record at Chipotle where he drove the share price up by more than 940%. Nickel is expected to address Starbucks' challenges, including market saturation in the US and rising competition in China, by focusing on improving customer experience and shifting marketing strategies. Analysts believe that with a clear long-term growth plan, investors will be willing to support the company's reinvestment phase, despite the stock's high valuation. Associated Press Vice President Kamala Harris unveiled her economic agenda, focusing on combating price gouging on groceries, providing down payment assistance for first-time homebuyers, and lowering drug costs. She criticized former President Donald Trump's proposed tariffs, which she claims would cost families $3,900 annually. Harris also highlighted the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, which allows Medicare to negotiate drug prices, as a step towards reducing prescription costs. Her proposal to build 3 million new homes aims to address the housing shortage, 
but experts caution that it might increase demand and exacerbate the issue. Harris promises to cut red tape to facilitate new construction, although this largely depends on state and local regulations. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email. Turn the lights on screen What's the latest scene? Just you and me Laugh and disagree On the couch we sit